Greetings, people who desperately wish I could make one video without screwing up. In my last video, the Amplified Circle of Fifths, number 14a, I didn't speak clearly, so I'd like to clarify a few things. I mentioned that only five of my eight basic scale phrases were needed to make the uh, seven traditional modes. Okay, these are the five scale phrases that I mentioned, and they are th this five, all right, five of eight total basic scale phrases. So I mentioned that only five of my basic eight scale phrases were needed to make the seven traditional modes. Well, actually, those five can be used. They're the only ones needed to make all 14 modes. In other words, they, they can be used to make the uh, traditional modes. I call them Glarian, all right? And they can be used to make the more modern modes. I call them post-Glarian. So you need only those five modes to make these 14, excuse me, only those five scale phrases to make these 14 modes. See, I don't know why, I just don't speak correctly. Now. When you put those scale phrases together, two of them, all right, you get an actual scale. All right? That's why I call mine the scale phrase system. You get an eight-tone scale, and I showed those, but I'm trying to show you how it relates to the amplified circle of fifths. So here you have two major scale phrases, and they make a, in this case, a C major scale. Now here you have two minor scale phrases, and in this case, they make a C minor scale, all right? So you see the difference in flavor and, 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 and mood between the C major scale phrase and the C minor. You see from C, you're tonic to E, you have a major third interval. And here from C to E flat, you have a minor third interval. So you see the, the, the flavor of the scale phrase is different. And then, uh, consequently, the uh, flavor of the scale is different. So, in the previous video, I tried to show this, and uh, I, I went too long, kind of ran out of time. But I wanted to show that, uh, let's say you have a C minor scale. All right, that means you would have two minor scale phrases. All right, that's this one here, all right, C minor. All right, and this is your C minor scale. You have two minor scale phrases. So I tried to point out, and I want to show you again, that when you map out that C minor scale, that's your second mode, I have the mode number, when you map it out on your amplified circle of fifths, you end up with a scale shape. That's what I call it, a scale shape. All right? And this is just one of many scale shapes. Now you see here that the the minor third interval from the first scale phrase is shown clearly. It's shown clearly in these two contiguous cells. That means these cells here are touching each other close by. And also the minor third interval, the main feature of the second minor scale phrase is featured here, G to B flat. And there's two contiguous cells, right? In other words, each one of these slices all right, has four cells in it. And you see here that the minor third interval is featured, right? That's from your first scale phrase. And the minor third interval from your second scale phrase is featured. So that's what I was trying to show, but I, I tried to go fast, and I don't know, don't know if I made it clear. Now here's a scale, the C minor 2 augmented, all right? That's two different scale phrases mixed together. And when it's mapped out, you see clearly that your minor third interval from your first scale phrase is shown right here. And I mentioned that even though the C is in the diminished data ring and the E flats in the minor data ring, it still works. Because in the diminished data ring, let's say you have a C diminished chord. Well, there's your C diminished chord right there. And you see clearly that your first interval is a minor third, C to E flat. So that's a beautiful thing, how that works out. So there's one example. And if you take your C minor three scale, now that's a nickname. This is actually a scale made of 
of a minor scale phrase and a minor two, but I use the nickname, and that's just until you learn the scale phrases uh, completely, thoroughly. So here you see, all right, in your first scale phrase, you have your minor third interval. It's, it's clearly noted. And in your second scale phrase, you have your G to B flat, another minor third. And that's clearly visible in your scale shape, which is mapped out on your amplified circle of fifths. All right. And quickly, I'll just give you one more. Oh, let's say we have a uh, C major minor scale. All right. Now, that's your fifth mode. All right. So you see here that your first scale phrase is major. So you know there's not going to be a minor third interval in there. But you see your second scale phrase is a minor. All right. So you see here that that second scale phrase, in other words, the one that entails the uh, minor third interval, is clearly noted. G to B flat right there. That's in your second scale phrase. So that gives you the minor feel of that second scale phrase. All right. Now, see, like I said, the first scale phrase was major. So you're not going to see a C and E flat in the same scale shape. You see, the C flat, you see, that's outside the scale shape. Understand? And so down here, um, well, here's your C minor 2 scale, which would be made of two minor 2 scale phrases. And just to sh show you here, your C and E flat from your first scale phrase is clearly noted, and your G and B flat from your second scale phrase is clearly noted. And once again, the G is in a diminished um, data ring, but that's okay. Because if you took your tones of your G diminished chord, you would get G, B flat, D flat. Right there, that's a beautiful thing too. So I was just trying to show that the, the scale phrase system can be used nicely with the amplified circle of fifths for visualization and, and a better understanding of scales if you're a new student. It's really, really very simple, the scale phrase system, and very logical. And over the years I discovered, it's just my opinion, but I discovered that it seems to work well with my other innovation, the amplified circle of fifths. Okay, now I hope I spoke correctly and I hope I made that clear. Uh, thanks for being really, really patient, and I hope to see you soon. Good night.